particularly is for the guy with the smaller machine, let's say, oh, even a 50 and under horsepower. So even a SG with 38 horsepower, if you got a veneer, 362, stuff like that. Or even, even if you have a 252 with 27 horsepower, I'm out here, basically it's a field of a barnuminium. You have to, you, you can't attack the stump all at one time. I'm, I'm going to show you what, how I do it is I, I dice the stump up so I'm not fighting the chips. I'll turn this around so you can see. I'm not going to make this long. Somebody asked me this question. Well, you said you re-maneuver the machine around. Let me show you. The sun's grinding right now. And this is a, a, it was a nine foot hack bench. He grounded here, chip stacked up, got them flat, came out, diced it here, grounded there, backed up, came in at an angle here, grounded here. Otherwise, this is happening. He's, he's building a chip platform and he's coming up at an angle. So he's kind of losing his depth that he has to keep going deeper extending his ramp to cut deeper. So what he'll do is finish up a few more sweeps. And then, right now he's shutting off the machine. He'll come on this side that hasn't been ground yet. So I'll attack this corner. Come up again. After he gets in there, this will be the last quarter here. And then there'll be a center left which after he pushes around, it'll be easy for him to go through. See, like, here's another diamond corner. He's knocking off the corner. Especially if you have a small machine, like I think uh, some of your... I think like a 252 has like a 30-inch swing. By swing, that means going left to right, or right to left. Swing, 30 inches, right? I have 50 on that. Swing is important. I mean, how much is stuff you can get? The Carlton guys, the big machines, hell, they got 72. It's, there's a machine that has even uh, 180, basically. Okay? So, this is what you do. When you dice it up like that, basically, in your mind, so you don't get wore out on a big stump with a small machine, we are plowed right through this. This is no big thing. But, on a smaller machine, you're going to be there two hours or more. And so you don't mentally get fatigued and, and just think, oh, hell with this. You have to, in your mind, you take the circle and you dice it up like pieces of a pie. All right? Like a pizza pie. You know, you can tell from New York, pizza pie. Uh, you dice it up. You, you go in it. You go in, cut that, cut that, cut that. You've seen this cut the slice of pizza sliced up. That's how I want you to do it. Then you can rake that area flat. You're not trying to, you're not trying to rake it in a gigantic mouth. Now here, we're grinding this. After he's done grinding this, I'll run the blade back and forth, and we're out of here. We'll do two more small oaks because where I'm at, the building of what's called a barn and It looks like a shop in a gigantic open space house here. All right? It's kind of, it's actually a beautiful place. It's a freaking mill of nowhere. That's what it is, what it is. All right, so like I say, it's a short one. God bless you. Someone asked me this question on how to do a big stump with a small machine. You dice it up. Don't overwhelm yourself because if you start attacking it too much from all one side, you build yourself a mountain of chips. You start losing your depth. And then when someone removes those chips, you go, hey, this guy didn't grind the stump hard or deep at all. Okay? Anyway, God bless you. Love you guys.